This question asks, when hardness, which means the ability to resist scratching, is measured, does it change the identity of the sample? So identity means what a sample's made up of. So here we have this green cube, that's our sample, and it's made up of some sort of material. And we're gonna scratch it with this nail to test the hardness. So when that happens, does it change the material that the cube is made of? The answer is no, it doesn't change the material. It doesn't change the identity. It's still the same cube made of the same material, but now it just has a scratch in it. So the answer is gonna be no. Hardness, when that's measured, does not change the identity of the sample. The next question asks, is hardness a chemical or physical property of matter? Chemical properties, when they're measured, do change the identity of the sample. Whereas physical properties, when they're measured, do not change the chemical identity of the sample. So since hardness does not change the identity of the sample, that must be a physical property of matter. This question now asks, when flammability, which means how easily a substance sets fire, is measured, does it change the identity of the sample? So here we can see we've got this cube that's catching on fire. Does it change the identity of the sample when it catches on fire? So think about a piece of wood. When you set fire to a piece of wood and it burns, eventually, are you still left with the same piece of wood? The answer is no. That piece of wood, when it burns, reacts with the oxygen in the air and changes to form other products, such as carbon dioxide and water. You're not left with the same piece of wood. So the answer to this one is yes, the identity of the sample does change when we test flammability by setting on fire. So the next question asks, is flammability a chemical or physical property? Chemical properties, when they're tested, the identity of the sample does change. So since the identity did change, flammability must be a chemical property.